Hi there, Release Fire here again. So with the arrival of Wave 2 of the Summer Update for Animal Crossing New Horizons, there is the ability to set up a backup and restoration process. And I'm going to talk you through that process now. Hopefully the video is going to help you out. If it does, drop me a like below. But one of the things you need to be aware of is that you will need Nintendo Online subscription to be able to use the service. But if you've got that, then you should be able to see settings in the bottom left of the title screen where you can do setup of the backup and restoration process. So you just need to press the minus button to be able to access the settings. When you get in here, you'll talk to Tom Nook and you'll be able to go down to Ireland Backup, which is the third option on the right hand side. He'll start to talk you through that uh, but one of the things to be aware of is that it's only for use when your Nintendo Switch has been lost or damaged so it's meant to be a failsafe if anything goes wrong it's not so that you can restore a previously loved island and you made a load of changes and you just fancy going back it's not for that at all sadly that would be a really cool feature it's just designed as a failsafe backup and restore process if your Nintendo Switch has become lost or stolen. And with provisos in mind, there's also information about the Ireland backup process. So you can ask Tom Nook anytime that you want to. So you just come in here. So you find out when data is uploaded. So essentially it happens in the background and you'll need a new or repaired system to be able to restore your island providing you've got Nintendo Switch Online and you've enabled the process in the first place. It also says you can check Nintendo Online for more information about the backup process and I'll put a link in the description for you to go to to find a little bit more information about this whole process. But essentially once you've gone through all the information screens answering any questions you might have, you can then enable Island Backup and it's a relatively simple process. You just click Enable and then he'll give you some more information repeating some of the things you will have seen in the questions. For example, that the data will be uploaded to Nintendo when you're not playing the game. But then once you confirm that you're happy to enable backups, so long as you've got Nintendo Online and you've got connection to the internet, that should be process complete. And then you'll be able to check to see if that is enabled by looking on the title screen in the bottom left hand corner. Either it'll say enabled or if you've already done a backup process while you've not been playing, it'll have the date and timestamp for that last backup in the bottom left hand corner. And that is how to set up backup and restore for Animal Crossing New Horizons. The only other thing to be aware of is if you do want to do a restoration process, then you will need to contact Nintendo support to be able to help you out with that. So if you do need to restore your backup because of either a damaged or lost Nintendo Switch system, then you will need to contact Nintendo support to be able to help you out with that. Like I said earlier, hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, drop me a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side and check out the rest of my guide and walkthrough series for Animal Crossing New Horizons with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments and I'll catch you next time.